Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2. I am Mega Freak 400, and we're going to do the speedways, this, uh, the la remaining speedways. Here's the icy speedway, and yeah, these the past two speedways kind of tricky, but for the most part they weren't that hard. So I don't figure this one, these ones will be that hard either. And oh wow, well. oh oh hello Hunter. Hey Spyro, oh, this must be you the, found um, me. Come back and talk to me again when you've completed the entire course. You must have to find Hunter in order to, uh, yeah, do, you know, do the special challenge. Unlike the other ones, we had to find Queen Finny and uh, the mayor. Um, okay, so I got these guys who are paragliding. I'm sure there's like an order to do these in, like the other ones, but okay, there's sea monsters, ice skating guys. It just kind of feels like I should, um, this one feels less organized for some reason. Though. I'm probably going to screw this up, though, because I'm not doing it in order, but, you know... I mean, I'm mostly going to at least, at least get a feel for the course. Okay, these, well, they're not really rings, they're more of arches. Seems like most of them give you. Is there any that give you only one? Those give you two. Those give you two. Those give you three. I think the machine guys also give you two, so that's one thing that's nice is nothing here really gives you only one. They all give you like two. That's done. That's another one of those guys. There's another dancer. Or I guess ice skater, rather. Uh, there's the last ice skater. Uh, I'm gonna cut this close at least. I think it's all that's left are these two guys. Or not oh. Those guys in general. Oh crap. Oh wow. Am I gonna pull this off? Yeah, I did. Wow. <laughs> first try. Well, technically the first try was finding Hunter, but first actual attempt, rather. I guess, to be fair, it is the second try. Okay, now let's go see Hunter. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Well, no. But I wonder how difficult this will be. Great! I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Okay, that seems simple enough. Mm. Oh, this is pretty simple. Actually, this is insanely simple. This is definitely a lot easier than the... I mean, the Cat Burglar one was... And the, his ring one was easy, but this is... Or wasn't too bad, but this is definitely really easy. Um, kick, of course, can be kind of tricky, but it's not too hard, it seems. I missed it. Just barely did. Hey, too. I heard you were good at this flying stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, it's not simply again. flying, though. It's going through rings. And I was doing pretty good, so... Don't give me any flak, Hunter. So. Yay, 50 orbs. That leaves only 14. Okay, so that speedrun, or speedrun, well, that speedway is done. That leaves one more speedway left. And 
I'm not sure what it is, actually. I don't remember. Uh, but that's the end of Autumn Plains is now 100% complete. And, of course, World 1 is done, too. So now we can do everything in Winter Tundra at this point. Or, I mean, everything everything we're going to do at this point is takes place in Winter Tundra. I honestly, like I said, um, Magma Cone was the last one I, was the first course I hadn't really remembered, and so I'm, I don't remember any of these Winter Tundra courses, um, in fact, I don't think I beat this game 100% when I first played it, so I might not even done some of these simply because I, um, you know, you don't need to beat all the courses in order to get, uh, in order to access them all, you don't need to do 100%, or get all the orbs, rather. So I probably just got enough to get to Ripto, and that was it. Then again, and then again, I could have. Well, I might have done these courses simply because, um, you know, I might have skipped some of the orb cha challenges in the past courses. I don't remember. I, I know back in the day, I didn't do 100% as often as I do now. Okay, this is a canyon. Ooh, I kind of like the music here already. Goats. Tons of goats. And tractor guys. Um, okay, more goats. And now rings. Okay, this one definitely has. You can already tell, see the order because it's pretty linear already. I don't know if it'll keep being linear. Like the like the oceans. Okay, yeah, it's pretty linear. The ocean speedway was somewhat linear, and the other ones were. You know, I mean the winter one was not linear at all, but this one definitely has a linear path to it. Uh, for sure. Okay, one, and one. now I'm assuming, now where do I go? Oh, okay, now I gotta get these guys. What would happen if you were to not get the tractor guys in enough time? I guess you really screw up your path at that point. I think I, um, yeah, I think I see, yeah, hunters over there. So that must be where I can go. Oh, this, this is a really easy speedway. There we go. Well, that was simple. Okay, well, I don't really need to kill these goats, I just feel like it, but uh, now I need to go find Hunter to get the orb. Also, the rings were just underneath this uh, area. Okay, let's see what the challenge is, Hunter. All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I guess I so. I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. <laughs> pretty sure. Wow. Well. Okay, Why do I need a plane? Why can't I just use the Superfly Power Plane? I've got Whatever. the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Oh. Press circle to I fire have a the machine gun. gun. Use the D-pad or analog stick to aim. Okay. Oh, wow. This is... The up and down are reversed, so like when you press... When you press... And I, I, I feel like games do this before, and it's done this before in this game too, but it's never... It never bothered me to this extent. When you press up, it makes it go down, and when you press down, it makes it go up. And it's really hard to aim when you're doing those controls. Like, you would think normally to aim, you would just point in the direction you need to aim. Here, that's not the case. And I think that's been the case for most of the game thus far, but it's never been that big of an issue. Here, I'm really... It's kind of hard to control this machine gun. Actually, yeah, this is... Holy crap, this, that's kind of... Bad controls. Hey, you missed I'm sure there's gotta be a, a case okay. where it's doing good. the reverse controls like that works, but it doesn't seem to be working here, and it would've been more easier for them just to allow you to aim. It would've made this easier, but it wouldn't be the controls... The only reason this is hard is because the controls are kind of hard to control. That. I'm getting kind of a hand, hang, hang, hangle. I want to say hangle, and hangle is not a word. Hand, handle on it. I, I, I'm getting the hang of it, rather. Let's 
this isn't too bad. Now, especially when there's an enclosed space, it's pretty easy to aim at stuff when you're not having to rotate around it. Okay, I... Ah! Uh, speaking of... Well, I was really close there, but I got hey, stuck at the end. The in terms of trying to move the, uh... The... Aiming device, or whatever. I guess the, um... Crosshair? It's not really a crosshair. Because the crosshair is, uh... Um, would actually have like lines in the middle, but it serves the same function. Well, at least in terms of games. I don't, not in terms of. Well, it's still used for aiming in real life too, I believe. That machine gun's kind of annoying though, and it drains out the awesome music of the canyon. I need to hit that one then first, even though if you see the other one first, so you'd think you'd want to aim for that one, but from the looks of it, I actually want to aim for the, um, the one that pops up. Um, but the one on the right first as opposed to the one on the left first. Ah, I missed. Hey, you mi yeah, 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 I missed. that one blimp. I always do that. I always do that thing where I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm doing good. Or I'll do I'll do good on the first try. I'll screw up slightly near the end, and then I'll get worse and worse until I finally get better. I don't... I, I, it always seems to happen. Not in everything, but it does seem to be the case that a lot of times I'll do this... I'll do that thing where I'll basically... I'll, um... Yeah, what I said. This really wouldn't be that hard if it wasn't for the... It doesn't even look like it. Like, for the people watching, you're not gonna... Um, it's not gonna be like, Oh, well, why are you sucking so badly? It shouldn't be that hard. The problem is I'm having to fight with these dumb controls where I have to press up. Like, I want to press... When I press up, you'd expect to go up. But no, when you press up, you go down. So it's it's more of a struggle to find where to aim here than it, than it needs to be, at least. It doesn't need to be this hard. I missed the bullet. Oh, no, they're still there. I... Okay, yeah, I got it, but I missed the other balloon. Hey, you missed the target. Yeah, 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 I missed the target. You know what, Hunter? You can shove it. Though, again, I, I like Hunter, even though some of his missions have been kind of annoying. I do like Hunter. He has a fun personality. And really, I shouldn't complain about this, because, to be honest, it's, um... The both the speedways have been pretty easy. It's just this one part. I guess again, I'm frustrated because the controls are kind of annoying. More annoying than I need to be, at least. Because you had such a good pilot. No. It had nothing to do with the pilot because 
Well, to be fair, you didn't do that bad of moving me around, but it, that... I don't know. Whatever. That's done. So, um, yeah, with both speedways done, that's it for this episode. I have been Meg400, and I'm reminding you, uh, keep on trucking.